Well, good afternoon there, everybody in YouTube world. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's having them a beautiful Saturday today. It's beautiful. Hot and all that good stuff, good old summertime. But it's a beautiful day. Feeling blessed. So I hope the same is for y'all. I'm in here today, y'all. I know I mentioned last week that I wanted to get started on trying to do some of these recipes that y'all send me. Just for the fun of it, right? So I went way back. What I did was I went way back in my pile. I'm gonna try to start from back then when I first started getting them and stuff, right? So that I can kind of catch up with, with, you know, where I'm at now. So, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to do all of them, but you know, I just wanna pick through at random, really, and, and get some of them out of there. Now, I do get y'all a lot of uh, dessert recipes. So, if you want to send me some, uh, try to think about, I mean, I'm not saying don't send me desserts. It just, that's why I'm going to do this recipe today. Another pimento cheese recipe, y'all. This will be my third or fourth uh, pimento cheese recipe that I've done on here from different ones, right? So... I just, that, does that tell you I like pimento cheese? <laughs> it's great for summertime. But anyway, try to send me, you know, every now and then, try to send me some that's not desserts so much. I want them. I want them, y'all, because y'all know I make desserts all the time. Just, you know, every now and then, if you got some kind of old family favorite or something that you're willing to share, and you know I, there's a chance that I'm going to put it on here, well, send it to me. P.O. Box 341, Iola, Texas. 77861. That's it, y'all. Okay? In the kitchen with Allie Faye. So, I want to get started on this one. This first one that I'm going to start off today with is from a fella in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And uh, it's Al Grubbs, y'all. All right, Al. I'm going to try to do this thing. Now, you know, on this recipe in particular, Al don't have any kind of measurements or nothing. So, you know, that's my kind of recipe. That's what we gonna do. We just cooking, y'all. And that's what this recipe is he has on here for his pimento cheese. All right? No, no measurements. So, all I've got is the ingredients. We're gonna take it, <clears throat> and I'm gonna do it as I understand it on here, okay? I hope I do you proud, Al. Let me get my stuff. All right. This is Al's pimento cheese, y'all, from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. All right, what I've done is I got me an eight ounce block of cheese that I was grating. I went ahead and grated it up. Get you some good sharp cheddar cheese, okay? The good stuff, and don't get it bagged. That, that ain't the same. You gotta get a block of it and grate it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and get it in my bowl so I can get this stuff out of my way right here. Is this not fun, y'all? This is gonna be fun. I think it is. I think it is. All right, there we go. We got us an eight ounce block of shredded, good shredded sharp cheddar cheese in our bowl. Okay, now, let's take that over here a minute. The next thing, all right, here we go. Let me look at his recipe. All right, he calls for mayonnaise. It just says mayonnaise. Now, he has on here the blue plate. I don't have blue plate mayonnaise, y'all. I've got Hellman's. You know, I hope that ain't a problem, Al. I didn't have no Hellman, uh, no blue plate, and I'm just going to use my old Hellman's, okay? So I'm just going to put me a blob of it in there, about like yay so right now, okay? I'm going to put that in there. There's our mayonnaise. Now, on his pickle, he calls for pickle in it, okay? And he calls for the bread and butter pickles, y'all. All right? So what i got to do, he wants you to take it and chop it up like a relish like. So I'm going to get me some out of here and put them in my little chopper hopper thingamajiggy. All right? Get me plenty of them out of there. Let me get them cranked up in here real quick. 
bread and butter pickles now, okay? There we go. Got me some bread and butter relish in there, all right? Now, be careful with that blade. I don't need to cut myself. I'm wounded again, y'all. But at least it's on my arm this time. Okay. We're going to take some of this relish. I'm just going to put some in there. Like yay so, okay? That looks pretty good. Now, there is our um, relish from our pickles. Where was that on here? Okay, now, he says a heavy jolt of Worcestershire sauce. He's got Lee and Perrins on here. Y'all know me. I'm a H-E-B girl. I'm going to put my a heavy jolt. What's a heavy jolt? Like yay so? Is that a heavy jolt, Al? <laughs> okay, and now a light jolt of Tabasco, y'all. All right, here we go. A light jolt of it. All right, I'm saying that's a light jolt. Did all y'all just go, oh, my word. <laughs> hey, we're going to find out, right? Okay, and now his secret ingredient is one large hard-cooked egg, and you macerate it with a fork. So I'm just going to take it and just squish it all up with this fork. Do it just like that. One egg, one hard-boiled egg, and squish it all up good with your fork, with a dinner fork. That's all you got to do there. That sounds kind of good to me, y'all. I'm thinking that's sounding good there. All right, I believe I got it. Okay, there's that. All right, get my bowl back over here. Gonna take it. There's that. Okay. We got our egg in there. And now he's talking about mincing a little bit of onion on your on your box grater here. And so I already did some of it and it gives you some juice and stuff apparently. So uh oh, where's the side of it? There it was. It'll make it kind of be, you know, like juicy like. Like I say, you don't say how much or nothing. So, let's see what we got here. Where's my... I'm going to get me a little bit more on there just, just because... Okay. Get that piece out of the way. There's us some of our minced onion on there. That's what we're going to do right there. Hope that's enough, Al. Look. See that? For an eight ounce block, going in. Okay. All right. Let me double check our ingredients. We've got our cheese, our mayo, our pickle relish, our Worcestershire, our Tabasco, egg. And it says, um, 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 well, we got to do our pimento. That's the last thing I'm going to put in there. One large egg macerated, okay. A little more juice from your pickle jar if it's dry. So we'll see that when we stir it up. The more pimento, the better. Okay. Okay. So, let's get our, I'm going to scoot that over. Get our pimentos here. I'm going to put me a good bit of pimento in there then. How's that? Let's chop this up real good. This is fun, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy uh, me doing these on these, on these special days or whatever. Uh, this is over the weekend. So, you know, I just have to do them whenever, whenever I get the chance, right? You know, it's not going to be on any given day. I mean, any certain day, you know, 
not right now anyway, unless I figure out how to work that out differently. Okay, I got a good looking bit of pile of pimento there, even with some juice and stuff. So let's just rake it in there. We'll see how much that is. I may want more. So we are fixing to stir this up and see just how much. I think I'm gonna need more mayo in it, y'all. Oh, it's pretty looking. It is pretty looking. Stir it all up. Got us our recipe for mayo. I definitely know that I need more mayo in it. Okay. Bam. There we go. Okay. Make sure I got it all stirred up good. Okay, y'all think, y'all think I need to, uh, look, there it is. Y'all think I need to get a, <clears throat> a cracker to try it on? Let me run and get a cracker. All right, so I got me some saltines. That's what I'm gonna try it on. I'm going to put it down. Well, no, I'll put it back up here. We'll just get some out of it. Let me see. I'm going to back it up like that, maybe. If I do that and sit down here, I think then I'm going to get all of it in, the, in there. All right. Now, let me get a little spoon here. We're going to put some on it. All right, Al, here I go. Phew. I can eat that all day long. That's a good recipe, Al. I like that. I sure do. I like that. That's a good, different recipe. Without a doubt. And that was easy to make, too. Well, it was that simple, y'all. Can I have another one? <laughs> oh, goodness. And I think if you wanted to, you could absolutely adjust. Maybe that's why I don't have any measurements on it, because you can adjust if you want more or less of any of it, right? Just kind of play with it. But that way, he's got the ingredients there for you. And you just, you know, adjust the levels of whatever flavor you want in there. That's good. Thank you, Al. I like that. That That is a good recipe to have for another recipe for our pimento cheese. Hey, y'all give it a try, right? Don't be scared. <laughs> we can't be scared. We gotta have fun with these recipes. So uh, I hope everybody is just doing good today and get in there and make you some pimento cheese. It's old hot summertime. It's good. Eat it with some crackers or in a fold over or something or whatever you want to do with it, right? So there's Al's pimento cheese, y'all. I had fun making it. I hope y'all had fun being in the kitchen with me making it. And uh Hey, listen, y'all just do it. I love you. Y'all take care of each other, lift each other up. Stay blessed. Thank you again, Al. And I'll see y'all next time in the kitchen with Tally Faith.